Hello, Ali. How are you? Good, thank you. And you? Oh, great, thank you. So thank you. for the ladies who haven't met you yet, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Osami. I'm a flamenco dancer and a performer. I teach also, and I normally uh, perform in Marbella. Uh, every Saturday and also I go to anywhere like outside of Spain and inside of Spain and anywhere they, they ask me to do a workshop or any performance anywhere. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, yes, also I'm from Japan, originally from Japan. And uh, I am a beautician, I do Japanese facial and about me is I'm a mom of two, two, two children and I have. <laughs> Great. Well, I want to hear more about your move to Spain from Japan. So yeah. was it something that you had planned over a long time? Was it a dream to always dance flamenco? How did it all start? Yeah, it was absolutely a dream because the reason that I came here was to to learn flamenco and to be able to um, perform here and become obviously a professional dancer. And, yeah. and and flamenco, when when did that passion start? Had you had you seen flamenco on the television or how did you even know of flamenco in Japan? In Japan, there are, are lots of efficient, a lot of people are doing it. Uh, the flamenco, they love, like we love, Jap uh, Japanese people love flamenco, definitely. But for me, it was at that time, I was at university and I wanted to start something new. And it was obviously dancing. And I was like, you know, um, looking for what kind of dance I could do, hip hop, jazz, and you know, modern and salsa. And then I saw flamenco, and then like, this is the one I'm gonna do because something exotic and mis mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Some mystery, I love that. Yes, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I love that. Yeah. And it goes, it goes yeah. really well with who you are, your personality as well. So it is fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> so did you actually have any business roadblocks to becoming a fl flamenco dancer? And if so, how did you overcome them? Um, that's never gonna stop. So I don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> as your business owner too, like you know that this kind of thing is always happening, always issues, always problem, insecurity, overcome with the fear, fears. And to start to become a flamenco dancer was I have to um, trust myself because everyone around me say that I won't be able to uh, dance flamenco and become professional, especially because um, artistic world is very difficult and people are worried about me. And they say, I'm Japanese and I didn't start young enough. And you know, everyone was saying no. So I have to trust myself and like, you know, what my heart say and keep doing and just shut out the, the outside noise. It's like a volume down. Like when people say like, it just broke my ears and then, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, I, I have to do it. And that's how I decided to come here to start with. But then those kind of things stay like, um, because you think that you can do it and it doesn't happen so quickly. So actually for me to become a really like um, a dancer, it took like more than, I think 10 years, you know? So the, during that time till three years, five years, I have to fight myself or I have to have a men mentally like, you know, read and learn about, you know, how people achieve their goal and their dreams and to be surrounded with the positive um, words and I had a session of uh, uh, coaching and, uh, you know, lifestyle and become, um, um, do whatever you want to be. And also a lot of meditations and yoga. And yeah, that's, that's a, a long journey. It's not, a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So do you Talk have one, one specific go-to tip that you could share with the uh, listeners? Maybe it is reading books about people that are, um, that have achieved much, you know, from small roots, have grown up. But do you have a specific go-to that you think that's that's what I always do that really works well for me? Yeah, for me, it was I had a um, life coach and uh, I had a session every time I had a insecurity or like a, um, it has been really difficult because I have two kids and you know, obviously fighting with the time and everything and 
so I used to have a session with her. So like, um, that's absolutely it's gonna help. But you know, if you don't have that kind of person or you cannot afford, then there are lots of YouTube that you can listen, affirmations. And the one of the things that you were talking about, uh, um, I'm gonna talk about later is that I recommend the Jay Shetty. I really like him. I always listen to him whenever I feel like, you know, I need to relax or meditate or have fears. I mean, uh, like trust in your, you know, futures and journey. And also Mel, Mel Robbins, do you listen to her? Yeah, also? Mel, Mel I like Robbins, her. Yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And change the mindset and then concentrate again. Yeah. Brilliant. So are those two people your business role models? Yes, I, I listen to them a lot and Mel as well. And I normally put on YouTube like a positive affirmation or success because visualization is very important. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, and the, our mind is like, you know, straight away go to like negative and people were not, you know, giving you a uh, good advice and which is like really difficult to find the people who are actually positive and now oh, you can do it, just do it and that kind of people. So then it's it's the best things that to shut down those kind of noise, volume down and then listen to the affirmation and people who are positive and like just change yeah. your tip like that, you know, switch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because what we focus on expands, doesn't it? So if we focus yes. on the negative, then it becomes yeah. even more negative. But if we focus yeah. on the positive, then, yeah. then it expands to being more positive. Yeah. yeah. So what advice would you give other women who are thinking about p pursuing a career in dance or in something that's unusual for maybe um, their culture or their lifestyle? Yeah. Totally trust yourself first, then whatever the things you want to do, if you have a passion, you will achieve it and just listen to your heart and trust. And of course, there will be like, but how, how am I going to do it? You know, then you have to get gather information and analyze it. And what am I going to do about it? How, how am I going to do it? So that you write down the, you know, um, the strategy and planning that's over stakeholders and you know, yeah, that's really important. And I think anyone can do it. And the most important things is that if you want to do it, really don't give up. Okay. Because it's not going to be one year. It's not going to be two years. And a lot of people think that it's going to happen in three years. No, it's 10 years, 11 years. Maybe sometimes it takes 20 years. If you yeah. don't give up, you're going to achieve. That's what I want to <laughs> Yeah, I want yeah. to believe as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, really good advice because so many of us see on social media people posting that, you know, last week they weren't doing anything and this week they burned yeah. 10 million or whatever. Um, and it's just not true yeah. because you, you just can't do it in that shorter space of time. Well, if you can, yeah, it, yeah that's you good. Can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not, not, it's not normal. And no. what people see and what people think these days is like, I want it. Now, now, yeah. if not, then I give up. Yeah. yeah, but then people don't see the behind the scenes. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I believe that, uh, I, I think somebody was saying when I was having a really um, difficult time with the insecurity, that it's the 10% the of the talent, anyone who is successful, and 90% of the time is that your effort. Okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah. I think it's true. A lot of like Hollywood star and those, you know famous people were talking about it and yeah 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 no that's actually a good thing to think about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so yeah. this this month um we're in the summer of 2022 you've actually danced with someone rather famous so how did that Yay! come about <laughs> <laughs> i performed with the, the picking the original one and uh yeah it was good amazing it's Happened from Instagram because I do wow. Instagram and um, one of the agents, that's the Gypsy King agent, and he contacted me through Instagram last wow. year. So actually, I uh, worked with uh, one of the members last year too. And this year, because they were coming to Malaga, and then like, oh, yeah, we can do something together. And like, as long as you want to come, because the Gypsy King is coming. And like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Wonderful. And it, yeah, it's good to think that for me, Instagram and social media, I had a lot of insecurity too. 
And I didn't even want to do it. I didn't have any followers. I didn't want to create my Asami Keda fan page and stuff either because nobody's going to see, like, you know, and if I had a like or not, then, like, then I, I affect, like, I get influenced, like, oh, my God, like, you know, this is not good. But then I kept doing it, like, you know, just, like, come on, push it, and I just do it constantly. And then, yeah, things will naturally, you know, fall into the places. So, yeah, it takes time to, yeah social media <laughs> yeah 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 Marketing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing that yeah. we, all, we, all, we all love to hate um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the gypsy kings was this summer who do you want to dance with next i don't know um for flamenco people i, I like Sala Balas because she always challenged herself and she of course she's super traditional but she now is working on her like you know her own her style and contemporary more modern and I like people who are growing and keep learning because I am that kind of person as well I want to learn and constantly learn and find the best version of you know yourself and myself so I I absolutely like to see her or dance with her yeah or maybe you know in the future like you know go to America or something and perform with somebody famous I don't know Brilliant. Oh, we yeah. look forward to that. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on the, the show, actually, because I think very soon you're going to be gone. You'll be flying. <laughs> and so I, I wanted to have you on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see it happening. So have yeah. you read a book during 2022 that made a difference to your life? And if so, why? Um, I'm still look, uh, reading him. Um, I find it time, you know, when I, because I haven't finished and stuff and yeah, this helps a lot because understanding who you are and how to meditate. And uh, he's not only talking about meditation, he talks about the discipline and how you achieve the goal too. So he's a business person originally and then become, a, you know, the those monk um, meditation guy. So for me, it really helps to realize who I am, accept and to be in the moment, but still do the, you know, the work too. Because a lot of people think if it's meditation, you just have to stop and like pause and stuff. <laughs> it won't come. By doing affirmation, it won't come. You do have to you do your work too. That's how, how it, he explains. So I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. And by yeah. him, for the for the podcast um listeners, we're talking about Jay Shetty who's yeah. written a, a book about what's the book yeah. title again it's how is it think how to, like a monk think, think like a monk brilliant it's yeah by Jay yeah. Right. yeah 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 really good good so asami what is your superpower i think it's positivity positive maybe yeah yeah brilliant. because every time i have i think um problem i've been having a lot of problems but challenges and difficulty but i always believe that you know in every chapter or the ending on difficulty when you think that you lost everything you know it's always that there's one door is open so find that door and just accept it but find the solution to it so yeah it's yeah just think in a positive way always yeah it's the important things yeah well in a way it's the only thing isn't it because as we said yes, earlier the only thing. if you think negatively then that, unfortunately that's what happens so yeah 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 i don't know if you have goals or dreams but do you have something that you want to achieve by the end of this year end of this year it's 2022 so it's a little <laughs> bit yeah <laughs> i cannot have like oh i want to be <laughs> yes <laughs> But for me, is to to I want to look after myself a little bit, and I want to heal because over the last few years I went through quite a lot lots of time. I um I, I suffer a lot, like uh, changes and with the pandemic, and I had to close down the the business that I used to have with my ex-husband and the separation with my ex-husband and going through the new chapter. That's a lot in two years. So I want yeah. to heal and I want to put myself first so that's self-love and so I can give more and I can have more ideas better ideas that's 
uh, one of the parts. And another part is I like to have stability. <laughs> That's the artistic, you know, artist and the business owner, I think, you know, just always like this, no one please, like, just keep, yeah, they really yeah. should be good, yeah. Yeah, 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 brilliant. Yeah, and put your, put your own life jacket on first, so that you can yeah. then help other people. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's what I want to call, focus on, that's it, yeah. Would you have any advice for the younger Asami? I was thinking, yeah, that's, yes, definitely um everything gonna be okay in the end <laughs> just trust yourself and keep doing it brilliant yeah you and can do it till something <laughs> yeah well you've shown that um you know and coming to a foreign country and learning a foreign dance and now look at you yeah. flying so yeah you've really shown that how can other people best connect with you after this interview instagram I do Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, but I'm more focused on I'm on Instagram these days. Yeah. Uh, so what's your handle on Instagram? Asami dot flamenco Marbella. Perfect. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you, Asami. It's been really interesting yeah, to hear more about your story, and we look forward to seeing you more in the press and more on TV, yes. <laughs> yes. more everywhere that we have done. Yes. And I, th I think it's amazing that um, they got in touch with you through Instagram. So yes. that just shows that if you do dedicate time to, you know, a specific social media platforms to find the best yes. one for you and dedicate time to it, then it can yeah. make a, can make a difference. So yes. really good. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Sami. Thank you, Ali. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>